high pile number one or fire sun signs let's look at this week ahead let's see what the universe has in store for you but before we look in details to your cards and go diving please remember to like this video to support the channel to grow thank you so very much my dreams reveal that magic is real and anything is possible that sounds like an exciting week <laughs> fire signs or pile number one let's see what we have next skunk spirit know your worth Okay, don't know why I feel like this is important in terms of frequency attunement. <laughs> Go the distance. Great. Chaos and conflict. Mm. I just like what I'm feeling here. And the mending card in reverse. Okay. So, do you see? There's a pattern here about shedding. 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 And this is what I felt first. I didn't see it at first. When I saw this, right away, I felt the stripping off. And, oh my... That's the first time that I actually see this from this card. Pile number one of fire signs, thank you, because this is the first time, and I've owned this deck for years, that I'm realizing that this had zebra colors, duality, contrast, and it's revealing, what is this pattern? More like a giraffe? The giraffe is about vision, seeing things from a higher perspective so you're stripping down because you this week you're maybe going to be called to go the distance towards your dreams towards something that is dear to your heart maybe there was something that felt that was off or that felt as a separation it could be when you have this car it can be feminine masculine it can be we say certain things and we for some reason don't follow through i don't know why this felt meaningful and purposeful so this week fire signs or pile number one okay because you can pick this pile and probability is that you know, out of the four elements of the zodiac, you may have, the chances are high that you have a fire placement in many multiple ways of your chart. You could even have fire placement, if not in the natal, in, for example, your draconic chart. I don't know why I felt that I needed to share this with some of you. Draconic chart, for instance, is your emotional chart. This is more connected to your astral body because it's tied to the moon. Mm. The dreams. You know, sometimes I say things and I'm like, Audrey, while I'm talking and channeling, I'm like, Audrey, what are you ta <laughs> talking about? <laughs> and then I've learned to flow with what's happening and ignore my rational mind. Maybe that's something that's for you again. Because I know that when I follow what seems insane to others, or because I'm literally when it happens, it's more that I'm thinking that it's insane to others. It's, it's because I'm putting myself from the perspective of a watcher watching Audrey or whatever insanity comes out. But when I do, I've learned through experience that it leads me to the magic. It leads me to the conclusion. And that's an important message for you this week. Pile number one of fire signs. Okay? Important for you to follow your heart. And that is the card here that's going to be important. You know what? I 
don't often read this guidebook of this deck, you guys. And I feel that I don't remember ever reading this one, 54. And I feel called to it. So I'm going to indulge. We're going to indulge together. Let's see what it says. What do you value? What do you believe in? Is your best, oh, most authentic self on display? Skunk Spirit comes as a reminder that you can be proud of who you are and what you have accomplished. Know your worth. Not everyone will agree with you or share your values, but you can walk with your head high, knowing that when you express your integrity, others can feel your authenticity and will be inspired by it. Be who you are. And if your reputation precedes you, good. You have much to be proud of and Skunk Spirit wants you to be your best self, the true you. I love it. I didn't know it was going to be so powerful and inspiring. Pile number one, fire element, fire sign. People are inspired by you this week. Because you're following your dreams, you're following your heart. And if, and this is probably, this was the last reverse card, that the card that was reversed. It's because you needed to hear that message for this week. You needed to hear this. Now, this is a week that's timeless. I'm throwing this out there in the universe, so it's timeless. Whenever you're watching this, this is the week, okay? You don't have to watch the date. This is the week ahead, all right? Let's pull some tarot cards and let's dive deeper. Let's see what else. What else can we expect that is so inspiring to others, to the self, to be proud of? Or is there any blocks that are worth mentioning? What does the universe want to add to this really uplifting message for you, pile number one? Fire element. Ooh. Opa. 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 Seems your energy, it feels like your energy. Sustain your energy. Make sure you self-care. Because that that's what people love about you. And they want you to show more of it. Okay. Two of Cups. Interesting with this. So I like it because if some of you, that's not going to apply to everyone. But if some of you, you've been single, looking to date, or it's been complicated in your love life, seems that you hearing this is going to allow you to have the next week, the coming week, really into a place where you might go on a date, you might celebrate, that could be with friends, but there's romance that comes out of this energy, and it could be that you're treating yourself to something special, and Maybe you're going to meet someone, okay? But that's not for everyone, but I can feel there's romance in the air because you're romancing yourself. Ooh, oh my, the higher fiend. Okay, it's really interesting with some of you. I, I, I'm Again, like I did at the beginning of this reading, I'm going to flow just like I flow. And some of you, maybe that self-love and self-care and self-glow is going to be going to a yoga class and maybe that person is going to be there okay but ultimately the higher fan is about commitment commit to yourself commit to your dreams commit to your glow all right pile number one oh, i love it i love it oh my <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just it, it, your an energy is contagious pile number one it's contagious know that and, and see how maybe from a place where you had to let go of a lot, you had to work on yourself, remove some of the unworthiness, feelings, whatever. But this week, you're shifting, especially hearing this message. I know it's going to find the people that need to hear this. The moon. Didn't I, mm, didn't I talk about this? Okay, with the moon, with the desires, with the dreams. You know what I feel? This week, maybe some of you, you're activating 
your wild feminine energy, your dark feminine, but in the greatest ways, you know, having boundaries, saying no to things that are not worth your time, okay? Some of you, if you don't know, I do have a wild feminine energy reading, and I focus on Lilith placement in your chart, um, you have Medusa as an option, Kali, and Ishtar, goddess Ishtar. This has been really popular and really activating. I'm pretty much all covered in chills the whole session. It, it's a channeling that's really intense for <laughs> both parties. And I really love, 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 love doing those. Okay, so it is. You're channeling some deeper part of yourself that's more authentic. And if you need the steps to do that, okay, let's say you're struggling here. Take yourself on a date. Go and romance yourself. It doesn't have to be outside, but, you know, take a bath. Do like a little self-care ritual, you know. Do something for yourself. Do your nails or whatever you're enjoying. Go and upgrade your wardrobe. And then meditate. Take some time to commit to yourself. Journal. Do things like, and then woof. You see, there's an activation here. This week, it just feels so powerful. And let's see how, ooh, and yeah. And you are in a place where your intuition and your dreams, you are on that same frequency. You are on the frequency of your dream. You are on the frequency of abundance. You see so many fishes. Oh my, some of you, you your glow, if you're single, watch out. You're going to attract a lot of people. <laughs> Because you have a lot of energies that are, but I feel that this is going to be probably attracting people that are more in tune and that can handle your wild feminine energy. And that doesn't have to be just for romance. That's also friendships. That's also people that, uh, colleagues, opportunities, people, strangers, you know, that are going to respect that energy because you need to be able to handle that. That's not pride. That's self-knowing, self-worth, true, deep, after going through so much inner work. Now, some of you, you know that I like to prescribe frequency healing if some of you are struggling with this, okay? And sometimes it gives us some additional messages. So let's see what we have for pile number one. If there's any music that can support this energy of glowing your way up. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Oh, interesting. Karmic astrology, the wounded healer. If some of you, actually, it's not surprising. With Those are children, okay? You can go and check out in your birth chart, in your natal chart, your Chiron placement. If some of you don't know how Chiron looks like, actually, I should, there we go, up. I always think like it's like a little reverse key, okay? Yep, and that's Chiron. And you look at the zodiac sign. I have a playlist that plays both sides, okay? So for example, if you're watching this and you picked it according to your uh, fire element, sun sign, you're Leo, okay? Leo is going to be in opposition of Aquarius. And that really feels like something that could have been difficult for you. Your Chiron placement is your deepest wound. This is where you spark your inner guru. This is the wounded healer. It has a lot to offer. So this is my recommendation. Go and check out your natal chart and go and check out the playlist after that and listen to the frequency. If you like to chant, I have written the mantra. All those mantras that I'm using are gratitude mantras. Mantras. Why did I change the way I said this word? Oh my God, some of you don't know, but this is not my first language, okay? I looked at the period of time for this video. It was 1414. In the angles of the zodiac, the number 14 equals um, to the placement of Gemini, 5 to 10 degrees. This speaks of commitment. It's asking you to commit. Commit to yourself. Commit to your dreams. And if whatever is your natal placement that has caused you to maybe want to give up at times, you will have much more gratitude, much more power from maybe getting that support, but also following all those 
uh, principles and advice here. Thank you so very much, pile number one. I got so inspired, so thank you for that boost of confidence. I'm trusting this is finding you at the exact perfect time. And if you need personal guidance or check out my last latest promo offers, you can look at the description box. Thank you so very much. Namaste. Pile number two or water element. It can be your sun sign. It can be any part of your chart or just your intuition that is guiding you to this pile. Now, before we look at your cards and pull some more messages, please don't forget to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. So thank you in advance. We are all sisters and reflect the divine in one another. You know what? So interesting. I was going to add the divine order as if I was feeling that there was something for you for this week ahead because that's the title of this bigger card. By the way, this is timeless. So whenever you're watching this, this is for the upcoming week. What I'm feeling here is that for you, water element or pile number two, you may have been triggered by people in the past. Obviously, you have the ones that support you, but there's also the one that triggered you. And both are helping you this week. Both the triggers and the support. The fans and the haters. Wow, I did not expect that. Pile number two, water elements. What's going on? You have a crowd. Mm. You must be popular. Oh yeah. Oh, I got chills. Look at the power of this. Reclaim your power. Number 44. Panther spirit. This is so interesting because if that's something that you need, I haven't pulled all the cards, but pile number one had the moon card and in the deck of tarot that I use, it has this little black cat that looks at its reflection and truly is a panther. So there might be some additional message if that's something that you need after we elaborate. Now, I am being called for the first time. I love how those cards, it's almost like, where, those, where do those details come from? That ruby. There's, there's some type of, oh, I know grace some type of grace i was i was feeling the ruby energy and i know that the ruby is associated with archangel uriel and the archaea of archangel uriel is archaea grace also called aurora you are multifaceted you are an old soul this week is an important week ahead for you to reclaim that power if you feel you've lost some of it. Maybe there were some triggers. Maybe there were some people, some reflections, some divine sisters, divine brothers that are trying to help you to put things in order. And sometimes it means by saying no. Hmm. All right. That's exciting. Let's see what we have else. Why? Oh, I got so much chills down my legs, especially at my ankles. I feel they could be here with the ankles, an Aquarius placement. Maybe you have Aquarius in your chart. Okay, the ankles is the Aquarius body part. Uh, or maybe there's an Aquarius person, okay, that is part of that trigger, or it could be support, but ultimately, if they're triggering you, they're also supporting you for your growth. Mm. Now it's asking you why, and probably why does it trigger you, or why, remember, because we talked about fans and haters, what are those people's motives? There's some deep reflection for you this week. 
about your own motives and other people's. Hmm, in the reverse, unfinished symphony. Something that was not finished. Maybe you may have this week someone from your past coming back. Could be an air sign or Aquarius uh, uh, because of that um, element, but doesn't have to be. Yeah, this is interesting because as I'm channeling this, the last reel that I created and I haven't posted yet is about the about an Albert Einstein quote, and it talks about future medicine. Future medicine will be the medicine of frequencies. There's something about sound. Now you guys know that I love to give you as tools of support to integrate and make sure that you freaking like really are on the best and highest timeline and vibration. I also give you some tools as far as frequencies. So there might be something here that is purposeful that you need to hear. Oh yeah, there's a message. Message in the bottle. Okay, so those people, okay, those people's, those reactions, they have something to share with you. And something that has to do with your power. Maybe it has to do with boundaries. Some of you, you know, I have super empath uh, playlists about boundaries. Maybe you're going to want to understand, not through their words, but through the vibration of what you feel when those people come in contact with you. Are they in alignment with their words? Why does it make you feel a certain way? Hmm. You know what? Pile number one, I actually don't use a lot of the guiding books. And I feel that for this reading, I want to do that. Because it was really powerful. Really inspiring. Let's see what this shares with us. Okay. It takes courage to face challenges. And right now, Panther Spirit is here to say that you are braver than you think. Now is the time to take a risk and step into a different aspect of your being. Speak as you have never spoken before. Act as you have always dreamed you might have the courage to act. Love fearlessly and fully and expect to feel the adrenaline rush as you are initiated into a new, braver, bolder self. Panther Spirit says the time for dreaming about what you want to do is giving way to that first courageous act towards reclaiming your Panther Spirit and power. Your new identity may feel strange at first, but you have what it takes and your soul wants this. Be bold. You might want to look into your natal Lilith, Ishtar, Medusa, or Kali. Some of you, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I have certain tutorials to help you find those asteroids. Lilith is easy. Lilith came first, okay? And I really felt that maybe you have your Lilith that's being activated. Maybe there's a planet that is activating your Lilith. Maybe there's a certain angle, an opposition. Go and be curious about this because it feels that you have something meaningful, a message. There's a, some type of purification because a new version of you this week wants to come into life. I do have a wild feminine energy reading that includes reading for those goddesses placement. All right, let's get some tarot cards, shall we? <clears throat> okay, so we have to upgrade something. There might be some throat chakra blocks. Maybe you have to make sure that you speak up about something. Mm. So the Eight of Pentacles work. Work on yourself. It came sideways. So let's see what <laughs> let's see what that means. Okay, I pay attention to every detail, and so should you. Hmm. All right. Broom, broom. Definitely some cleanup. Uh, yes. 
Let's see, what do you have to clean up? Okay. Can we have some... It's interesting because I heard experience. It's something unfinished. It's, so, it's some old business. It's something you know you have to face. Something you know that has been following you. Maybe this is a person from the past, someone. There's something definitely here this week that is important for you to reclaim your power. Four of Pentacles. Remember, that's something that's on your heart, on your chest. Chest. Okay? Your heart is the gold that you haven't said, but you're going to say it. Maybe, again, we have this energy for you, pile number two, about fans and haters. Uh, that's very interesting. And there's something that is coming back to be clear. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Interesting because this is something in alignment with your chart. It seems important, especially with this turn of luck. So this week you have an important opportunity to speak up about something that is going to help you end a certain cycle. In order to have this new version of yourself, and remember, there was something that said in this little guidebook that, you know, at first it's a little bit strange, it's a little bit weird to become that version of yourself that is so empowered. But this is what is needed. This is, <clears throat> yeah, definitely in the throat. Oof. <clears throat> it's not bad. It's not bad. It's something you know you have to say. So if you chose that pile, okay, it could be by your elements and your sign, um, but you definitely, or not, and you definitely have something that needs to be spoken, something that you know that has to be released. Let's see. For you, I want to dive a little bit deeper. To end a cycle, because a new one is happening, your chart is very activated right now. As I'm channeling this, I remember looking at my chart, and I was like, wow, what a powerful... Uh, beginning of the year because I have quinkinxes everywhere. I'm being zapped <laughs> in every way. So some of you, if you don't know what the quinkinxes are, they're sharp degrees and they're, if you use astrodance.com, which is usually what I use on my tutorials, it's a green dotted line. I am like totally in, it's almost like a line of fire of energy. It goes very fast. It's very sharp because if you have two that are pointing like this, it creates what is called a finger of God. And it's saying, pay attention to this, like pointing. So God is saying, pay attention to this detail. It's important. And you're watching this pile number two or water signs. And it says it's important because we want to finish the cycle. Yes, but you will prevail. You're definitely, the way you, whatever is the way that you're going to approach this, this, this whole why, it, the, receiving the message, you're going to be successful. And that's something that's needed because this is a celebration. This is a union. This is, we're seeing that the cycle is ending. That symphony, maybe a part of you that was shying away of speaking up when you needed to speak up, is ending. That's a cycle that's ending. Now, let's move on to the frequencies because... Wow. Okay. So when they're green, they're actually, uh, for the YouTube members. Wow. Some of you, <laughs> okay. So that's all green. So that's all YouTube members. If you don't know actually that I offer YouTube membership for the frequencies, I have certain stronger activation in those playlists. Um, you can access them. You'll have the details down below. If you are a YouTube premium that you're already purchasing, you can have a free month, okay? So that's something that could be beneficial. I was surprised here, pile number two. You had, again, that was a symphony. So that's something that has been repeating and that is now ending because you've done a lot of this repetition and this dance. That's a lot, but I do feel this card though. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, wow. I am not surprised. 
the spleen frequency, allowing faith and success. Remember what I said about this? That I felt that was fans and haters. Now, what's interesting, this is part of the 12 organs uh, frequency playlist. The spleen is the only organ that is attached to all 33 vertebrae, all of them. And that means that to feel successful and to have higher faith in the higher power and in yourself, you are affected by all the other organs that are attached to the vertebrae because your spleen is receiving the messages from all those energy lines. You see how deep that was? Yeah. Okay. So for the ones that uh, are not YouTube members yet, that's for you. And for the ones that are, let's see. Right, right. All right. Activation of inner essence. This is the video three of your true nature, um, your true abundant nature. One of my latest album. You have the woman heart recalibration. This is to help create from a place of heart, create, you know, without also the influence of maybe what you inherited from the womb, from the mother, from the ancestral lineage, okay? Maybe some of you, there was some uh, competition with the parent, okay? And, or maybe a parent that was competitive, I have to say it, whether it's father, mother, okay? Some type of competition here. And the crystal heart light body activation. All right. Those are my recommendations. Thank you so very much for being here. A really amazing week for you, pile number two, to reclaim your power. If you need personal guidance and assistance, I have details about everything that I offer in my latest promotions. Thank you so very much. Namaste. Pile number three or the earth element. Let's see what this week ahead has to offer for you. But before, remember to like those videos. It supports the channel to grow. So we have for you this upcoming week. By the way, this is timeless. So whenever you're watching this, this is for the week ahead. The rhythm of my breath directs the rhythm of my life. Now, I cannot help myself but think about dancing. There's something about the stars within you being awakened this week. You might have a strong activation from the cosmic transit, especially with the spiral. You know, we are part of a cosmic dance. Some of you, if you follow me on Instagram, you know this is kind of my thing. Um, to express the flow of the cosmos through what moves us as human beings. There's something this week ahead that is showcasing how you are evolving with those stars, the potential you hold within. Doing breath work is going to be great if that's something that you like. Movement, singing, expression okay let's see what animal spirit we have and you know what it's interesting because this came reversed and i didn't start by telling you go and dance and express yourself i start this by saying breath work because i could still feel a little block maybe in the throat and heart maybe it doesn't allow you to bloom the color purple lavender with the crown. Maybe this block doesn't allow you to show your true essence. Look at those eyes here watching you. So let's see if it has to do with your third eye or if there is an energy watching you. Okay, there was some energy. So far, the week ahead, it literally puts a lot of emphasis by um, the energy that you emanate, calling the attention of others, okay? So let's see what was that spirit animal that I saw coming in the reversed. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being 
So maybe you have a third eye block as well. Let's see. We're going to keep it reversed because you might not know if you're new to the channel, but I work through the blockages with you. That's why I love doing this. This is actually a mini session. So if you like those readings, you'll probably really enjoy personal readings with me because when I do pull cards, if that's what I do, I like to offer also, uh, even if I use uh, cards, the astral, the natal chart, the astrology base of what's going on. Because when you feel you need support, that's not just maybe clarification or the fogginess. There's usually some type of transit. There's usually a dance. There's usually a movement that may make it a little bit more confusing. Okay. By the way, even though this is timeless, I do offer promotion at this time. And you can check if it's still available for um, needle charts. Come to the edge, baby. So this week ahead... You have something that is strongly being activated. Your chakra, I wouldn't be surprised. Now, I did associate this pile to the earth element. So whether it's your sun sign or maybe if you didn't pick it for your sun sign and just intuitively picked on it, that's a clue. Watch in your birth chart if you have any earth placement. Exchanging gifts. Ooh, that sounds exciting. There's an activation for you, pile number three. There's something inside of you that is emerging. Oh, I got chills just saying that on my arms, especially. Giving and receiving. It could be money, by the way. I, I can feel this, especially if that's something that is on your wish list, but we'll have to work through certain little blocks here. Ooh, higher power. A higher version of you. Your highest self. If you want an additional message following this, I do have some higher self messages. Pick a card. That could be something, um, especially here... <sighs> Uh, I'm seeing a key. We'll talk also about frequencies. So we'll talk about music and how to attune. Okay, before we do this, I've been doing this for this reading, uh, which is reading the little guidebook. And we're going to read what the reversed meaning has for you. All right. Let's see, let's see. I like it sometimes, you know. Okay, lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Have you been allowing your imagination to run amok and dream up a nightmare that seems to have come true? Fear not, for whatever dreaming you did in the past can change today as you dream anew. Wake up from the perception that everything is wrong. Lizard Spirit asks you to open your eyes and consciously dream a better dream. What would it look like to already have what you desire and be the one you wish to be? How might it feel to work towards co-creating this new dream as a reality in the world of the senses, drawing it out of the world of dreams and building it in the world of form. Trust in your ability to dream anew and honor it today. This is so interesting because just recently I heard somewhere an advice about manifestation that I thought was really interesting. I haven't tried it yet, so that's going to be my little hint for myself and for you if that strikes your curiosity. The exercise for manifestation was to journal about yesterday, as if you already had experienced yesterday the dream that you wish to have. Say, yesterday I met the person of my life. Yesterday, I bought this new house that I wanted so much. 
Yesterday, I paid all my debts and it felt amazing. So I thought that was very interesting because I saw how using the word yesterday really tapped right away, activated the imagination so much faster, so much deeper, especially if you're experiencing any block. So if you try that trick, let me know how that works for you. But just giving you this small little short <laughs> examples, I was like, oh my God, I can feel this. Okay, so pile number three, this week ahead, already start using your imagination. And if you've been blocked and we saw, maybe there's some activation, maybe there's some, some strong energies, maybe some earth placement we mentioned that could be right now trying to push you to the edge, to the edge, not for you to fall, but fall more in love with life for more into your, feel more of your potential and that potential through your imagination. So you can see how you're co-creating with the universe and that this higher power is in inside of you the same way you witness it from source. Wow, I almost could end this reading here because it's so powerful, but we're not, okay? <laughs> We're not, because I'd like to go deeper, baby. Ooh, maybe some of you, that's something. You know, part of your, I would say like part of your tendencies is to dive deep. You want it at the soul level. You want it to learn maybe how to create with the universe to really realize your true power and that part of your birth chart, part of the transitions you're going through, they're helping you quench this thirst for the knowledge of creation. It's very interesting, but <laughs> just saying this, just trigger this. I feel that um, this week, pay attention to the things that come out as of, of your mouth like just like like i said like maybe there's some channeling that you're going to do when you speak to friends or co-workers and vice versa watch how people may be called this week to tell you certain things especially with the exchange of gifts you might have a lot of supportive people just like myself <laughs> telling you certain things that's going to strike something that's going to be helpful this week okay oh those cards came together Six of Cups in the reverse with the star. This is interesting. I feel past life here. There's something from the past. It could be a past life or it could be a past event. It could be a childhood event. But there's something maybe that from your past, from a past experience, but with the star also, it's connected it's connected to your stars, to your constellation, to your, wow, to your wheel, to your birth chart. Did I already mention to you that I do have promotion for this? <laughs> Just some of you, it's, it seems valuable for you to know, okay? But I do offer birth charts reading. Uh, there's something, maybe it's an activation in your south node, maybe an activation from your Chiron, Something to release that's been creating maybe a block, a, 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 a pullback. But you're being triggered to unleash. Maybe there were some fears. Remember, the word fear was there. Maybe there's a trauma response. We'll talk about my music frequency healing, but I do have a lot of frequencies that are helping with trauma response. But you're healing this week. You are activating something. This is, look at those, like how, I want you to watch. Some of you, I feel you're a star seed. You came here to accomplish something and you had to experience, oh, you had to, oh, I got chills everywhere. Some of you, I know I mentioned a lot of things, but if you're still here watching, do you see how this reminds me of the Aurora um, uh, 
borealis in the sky. There was a message about aurora in pile number two. So there's something maybe that you need to hear about this past tendency and trauma that this pile has in store, okay? So you're definitely getting the support of the divine. I would say even support from star beings, from your angel teams. It feels very... <clears throat> yeah, it's interesting. In the pile that I mentioned, number two, there was a little bit of a throat block. So maybe that's something that you have to say. Mm, ten of Wands in reverse. Something that's burdening you. You know, I feel that in the music frequency, we're going to have more details about this. That could be in your um, meridian lines. Look at all those lines, timelines, past lives. Let's get some details. Wow, judgment. Again, talking about frequencies. Many lines, many lives. I told you, you are an old soul. You are a star seed. You came here for a very specific purpose. And you had to experience the contrast of this reality. Deep contrast. Deep contrast. Let's get some clarifications here as far as how to uplift. Even though I feel that music is so precious for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, with the Empress in the reverse, you might have come here to break the chain from the ancestral lineage. You may also have with this lot of red here and that white, you know, some, some of the, uh, from the root. So some of the things that you inherited or from the childhood, things that maybe didn't bring you security. Maybe you, there was scarcity mentality. There was some things around you that created a lack of support. Maybe you didn't have a lot of attention from your parents. But with all those apples here, I feel that all the things you did not get, they were meant to support you, to learn what was meant for you to learn. Let's try to move that energy here. Yeah, you have the panther here with the moon. Again, it goes back to uh, pile number two. That, that was a very powerful message as well. This is about reclaiming your power. You're aiming too small, especially with this. When you're going to practice this exercise that I gave you, aim bigger. And I feel that some of you, especially with this burden and with this orange that calls back to the womb, okay, maybe you didn't dare to aim high because of the way you were raised. Maybe there was some restriction about what you're capable of doing or what you're able to achieve. Maybe it was projected on you because that was the people's projection. So this week, you see you have a strong activating week to release and unleash a potential within yourself. And with this judgment card, it's about your authenticity. It was about following your own tune, following what feels right. Follow what feels right this week. You're definitely awakening a part of you. There might be some kundalini chakra activation. You might go through a spiritual awakening as you're watching this. Okay, let's now work with the frequencies. What can support this pile? Please, God, the angels, higher beings. What can we do to uplift, you know, this potential Unleash it, heal it, integrate it. Let's see. Okay, so those two are, well, no, they're actually activated for everyone. I do have a membership, so usually when they come in green, I get confused. They're for the members. 
you have two that are very interesting. Law of Attraction and Sacred Union. This is very interesting. This is when you claim something and you're actually carrying a vibration that is in opposition to it. That's kind of like my runner chaser energy. If you've ever experienced that in your relationship, that you're interested in people and when you are, they're not and vice versa. This is great to rebalance this. Now, this one is the large intestine frequency allowing worthiness and self-love. This is interesting because this connects to um, in the zodiac association, the large intestine is connected to Taurus. Okay, so there's that could be for you, Taurus, but that doesn't have to be. Or you could have a placement in Taurus that is meaningful. But in terms of element, the large intestine is actually connected to the metal, so to the air. So there's different way, pathways, remember? Different pathways. For some of you, you may also have um, experienced something with your large intestine, constipation, diarrhea, you know, recently, or as a common theme. And it's talking about allowing worthiness and self-love, which I felt here, maybe because of the lack of uh, support from the parents, maybe especially from the mother, okay? But this week, you're resolving this. Because you see that you are very, very protected. All those cards were upright. You were giving a tool. And you're giving tools to shift some of the past timelines. If you want more details, remember, you have a higher um, message, a higher self message. And you also have a one in the same reading, pile number two, that can support you at this time. I trust this is so helpful for your week. I'm sending you many blessings, much love and light. And if you need personal guidance, you can look at what I have to offer and my latest promotion in the description box. So very much. Thank you. Namaste. Pile number four or the air element. So it could be your sun sign. It doesn't have to be. It can be part of your chart or it can be just your intuition guiding you to this message. Now, before we start, please remember to like those videos and support the channel to grow. Thank you in advance. I am of the earth and in harmony with nature. I'm being called to the number 12. 12 is the 12 DNA strands. There was some strong activation for some of the piles in terms of the power, your innate power. And as this is a timeless reading, but as I release this um, pick a card, I also have a true, a new album called uh, Your True Abundant Nature, which I find it interesting because this person is all surrounded by nature, watching those sacred geometry, activating her inner sight. So pile number four, or air sign, this week you're activating something deep within you that sees beyond the material expression. It's almost I'm seeing, like as I'm tapping into this, I'm watching, for example, a tree. And I'm seeing how through the inner sight, through the third eye, you're able to connect to the divine vibrational frequency that creates this physical manifestation. I have to mention it because some of you, it's going to apply. If you've ever tried, um, what do they call this? Medicinal mushrooms, not the medicinal, but the, the psych, the one that makes you trip. <laughs> As you can see, I do not <laughs> take those. <laughs> I can't even remember the name of it, but I have a lot of friends. Uh, my partner that does, you know, 
use them to have those higher, deeper insight. My personal guidance does not recommend this because I see this without them. So I don't dive deeper into those activations. No, thank you. <laughs> um, but I feel this is, this could be something that could be helpful or something that you're being activated or something just like myself that you naturally can sense. It doesn't have to be seen with your physical eyes. It's just you sense the melody of things, okay? So this is interesting because just with this card, I just felt a lot. I just felt that a lot of movement, things were moving for you. Hmm, interesting. Life is speeding up with the antelope spirit. What did I tell you? Ooh, I got chills. Whoa, whoa. Like, uh, wow. Um, like a quantum leap. Like, like there's something this week that makes you tap into a vibration, probably gratitude and abundance or your authentic self. We'll talk about frequency healing and what I have to offer if we find any blockages for you. Because so far, it feels like synchronicity. You're going to have a lot of synchronicities, and I would say maybe 12-12, okay? Maybe it could be triple twos, but those numbers are going to be significant for you. Hmm. Life is speeding up. Let's see what else. A leg up. Up, up. This is interesting. I do have a membership to access more frequency that is called the level up. You're leveling up. You are pile number four. You're leveling up. If you're, it's your zodiac sign. Wow. Um, I'm almost, I'm impressed and I'll tell you why. Because you see how she's lying down? I'm impressed because what I was seeing is that it was effortless. It was, it's, it's almost like you kind of tune into the frequency and it just gets you there. It's light speed. How did you do that? Okay, this is where some of you, if you're watching this, we may have a block. Here and now in the reverse. Okay, so some of you, this is about quantum leaping. This is about taking you from where you are to where you want to be, light speed. But we have to work through something. Mm. Round and round in reverse, a cycle. There's, this is interesting because there's a lot of motion and I'm hearing commotion. There could have been some commotion, okay? So this week, you're going to be saying goodbye to some of those repetition, but we need to do a little bit of work. Now, this is timeless. So again, whenever you're watching this, this is an advice. If you've already watched this video, you could have chosen another pile. This is also applicable, okay? Let's see. Let's see here. Because you see, even there, there's a gate. The universe this week is inviting you to step into a, a version of your life that is that you haven't you haven't reached yet. It's like it's everything that you want and everything that you are. And it's so close because once you get into that motion, it takes you there. All right. Let's get some tarot cards. All right. Spirit. <laughs> what do we need to know? Because it seems that we have certain cycles that we're trying to end, that we're ending. Mm, seven of Wands. You see this? This is a lot of fingers pointed. And that's talking about outside influences. So are you too... Spongy, are you too penetrable in your boundaries? Are your boundaries weak, weakened? When I say the word weak, I feel that if you're watching this and you're slightly sick or have been sick or are sick, 
this is a strong manifestation and sign and confirmation for you because in your aura, in your auric field, this is your body, okay? This is the physical, but then you go to the emotional. I'm, this is, I'm going to do like a small version because that's all you can see. So physical, emotional, mental, and then you have spiritual. If you're getting, when we get sick, all those layers of protection have been weakened, have been infiltrated, have been, you know, pointed at. So if you're listening to this, this is about your boundaries. Maybe some of you with the leg up. This is interesting. Let me channel this properly. Okay, because I kept on seeing the leg up, but I kept on seeing a, a, a human leg moving up. And I remember that the thigh was connected to Jupiter. Luck. Maybe if you are here, pile number four, air sign, if you have been feeling out of luck or... People usually find you lucky. There's something about making sure that people that may be envying you don't suck out that energy from you. And as a turn of event, maybe you're picking up on others wishing they were as lucky as you and then you don't feel lucky because they don't feel lucky and you're, you're picking up on others. This is very complex when people don't understand that they're strong empath, how they can be um, influenced. Now, as I'm recording this, my computer just showed me that it had low battery. Everything happens for a reason. It's showing me that there might be low battery and I mentioned sickness for you. Okay, so let's see what else uh, we want to know. Because you have to work on your boundaries. You have to be able to say no. Some of you watch how much you work or your work environment this week. You might be deserving or owed some vacation time. I have to mention it because I feel it. If you needed a sign to uh, take some time. Actually, don't wait to get sick. To have a just a justified reason to take some time off. Because that's not really time off. That's you having burned the candle by two ends and having to take something that is supposed to be a vacation, a time of enjoyment, into a time of recharging because you're run down. Okay? This is something. Also, in your chart, you might want to look at your Jupiter, because I mentioned this. Um, Jupiter expands a lot. And that means if you have your Jupiter next to a certain planet, it can expand that. I personally have my Jupiter next to my moon. And that means my intuition, my emotion, my subconscious. Oh, when I... When I have high energy, when I'm really high on like life, it expands. It's really high. My emotions go really high. But that means up or down. Okay? And you have to know those things. So some of you, I am calling you to look at your natal chart and look at your Jupiter placement and inquire. It might be next to a planet or not, but this is a planet of expansion. And maybe the house it's in, it's going to be important. I personally have it on top of this in the sixth house, which impacts my health. Okay, so that's, those are things that it's important and good to know. All right, let's see what else. The four of cups. The tower in the reverse. And the seven of cups. You know, I almost, I'm sure it feels like your energy as far as there's a tendency to be a little bit harsh on yourself because I'm hearing, 
like someone watching what you're doing with a shaking of no negativity uh, side to side while they're watching you. And I feel that it's, it's something that you might be doing to yourself. That could be happening also to from the outside. That could be a parent, that could be family, that could be co-workers. And it's making you doubt about yourself, that something you're lacking, lacking something, but you're not. Because remember all that you have here, this strong positive message was... It's as if it's like, you know this. You know this if you took away the noise. But maybe your life has been too noisy and you have been, been taking a vacation, taking a time off, taking some more time for solitude, for being with yourself. So it comes as, you know, it just, it kind of, it, it, but at the same time, those moments, they transform you. It transforms you because it shows you that you have other options. You have other options of maybe some of you relationships, jobs. Maybe you didn't take any vacation because every time you do, you're being looked down on. Or, you know, I had an experience. Let me share that with you. Now, my boss, we were only the two of us, okay, I was doing real estate management, very busy, from probably be from, you know, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., especially at the beginning. I remember when I was getting my check, it was making jokes about, you know, being, I, I was too expensive to him, and I was really underpaid, so, um, at the beginning that I had to fight my way up. Uh, but still, that was always a tendency. And some of you, it's almost like, remove yourself. I stayed almost five years and it's a dynamic and I, I learned a lot. I'm very thankful for everything that I learned, whether it's business, even that person, boss, I learned a lot from that person. I have really high um, regards, but there was some tendencies that were not mine. You know, those lack of mentality, ment mentality um, but I had to learn power inner power standing up for myself and here I feel that you may have a very soft part of yourself you know a part of you um, that you keep for yourself and that this week you're being challenged to choose differently to choose you see those are choices under that karmic wheel and in the here and now, you're seeing that maybe something is just, especially with the leg up, it's like the divine is protecting you. If, you know, things have been, been going a certain way, it's protecting you and it wants better for you. Okay, those cards want to come through. Look at this. You're strong and you know it because that's what I first channeled. You notice when you can't get out of bed, you notice as soon as maybe you think about work environment, family matters, or whatever, then you start doubting. But those are their predicament. And they may have become yours because either you inherited them or you just repeated them. Or because if you're an empath, you don't want to ruffle people's feathers, okay? Because you want to keep the peace, mm, the peace of the here and now, but no. You're being called to be more present for yourself, especially with this. Definitely take more care of yourself. Watch your diet. Do some exercise. Do some reading that is supportive, you know, that, that has positivity, that supports you. Avoid drama this week. Avoid drama. Rest. Get yourself out of the wheel you know the crazy madness i would say this is a week where you want to stay with yourself work on yourself be with yourself enjoy the silence the stillness of your abundant nature of how beautiful you are and this my dear is your secret for that quantum leap 
when you take that time off. Time off of that noise. We mentioned a lot of couple of things and we're going to move that tower into the upright because this is going to be rebuilt in something that is greater. Something that... Yeah, it's so much. It's like... It's, it's a structure. It's your template. It already exists, that tower, that empire, that, that, that potential. It's in there. But what you were building was more based on what others were expecting. Okay? Let's get some frequency healing for you. That's needed. What do we have for part number four? To support their healing, support transiting out of those karmic wheels that's a lot let's see again see with a lot and definitely sensing that you've gone through a lot that this energy could have been really running you down it's here i have it oh interesting pile number three had this as well so you might have a message also in pile number three Large intestine frequency, allowing worthiness and self-love. I want to pull another one for you. Oh, so this is for the ones that have access to the YouTube membership. By the way, if you're a YouTube premium member, you can have access to my membership for one month for free. Inner wisdom activation. This helps you have a receive a higher guidance from your higher self. Okay, from a part of you that is wise. You are wise, my dear pile number four. And you notice, you might have just gone through a little bit of, you know, a cycle uh, that could have been sped up, you know, but purposely for you to, to really see that you have other options and that you can decide to have the options that are supporting you to go towards your goals, towards your dreams. All right, pile number four, that's what I have for you. I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light. If you need personal guidance, look at the description. I have some promotions for you. Namaste.